six green squirt guns on the desk. Test, 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 test. Talking to that mic real quick. Hello. Any of them uh, super soakers, per chance? No, they're just a little... Uh, you know, like the iPhone emoji? Well, I guess you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. All right. Uh, should I go ahead and hit uh, the theme song? Yeah, so there's going to be silence. You won't be able to hear anything. I need to hear the theme song to get jazzed up. Okay. And then we'll start. Hey, this would be a cool cold, cold open, wouldn't it, Grant? No. We woo, we woo, we woo. I should just sing it for everyone so that everyone can hear it who's listening. Ah, ah, you shot me in the dick. Ah! Make him away, Ty. I should do an acapella version of this. <laughs> and just use it as the uh, regular intro music for, like, one episode. Why not this episode? Because I already fucked it up. I gotta commit to the bit. Zwick, so keep this. Welcome to Thought Cops, the only podcast for every week we talk about what's outraging the internet, and then we let you be the judge, we let you be the executioner, we let you be the jury in the court of public opinion. I'm Officer Kevin getting my words screwed up, and with me is... Officer Grant. Coming to you live from precinct number 80085, and if you ever hold that upside down, they're right ways up. Yeah, you just look at it normal, and it's... Hey, that says it's boobs. already that way. Yeah. That says boobs. And uh, here we are in Neo Chicago recording another episode. Welcome back. Hey, let's give a quick thank you to our guest from last time, Bon Schrager. What is, that guy's an enigma, isn't what, he? What a strange guy. <laughs> he, he walks around everywhere. He has rose-colored circular glasses. He wears a pork pie hat. He wears, like, three shirts, I think. Uh, wears, like, Buddhist prayer beads around his neck. And then uh, I was watching a video of his stand-up on YouTube, which was just him, like, screaming at the audience (laughs) Uh, in a really, like, funny but, like, very uncomfortable way, and he just kept screaming. And then his next video on his YouTube channel was him, like, doing doing an expose on his own stand-up, like, breaking down and flaming himself. It was hilarious. You guys gotta check that out. Uh, But hey, we're back, and we got a new guest this time. We got Deputy Sancho. What's up? Hello. Hello. Howdy, howdy. How we doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. Me and Sancho went to college together. We worked on a infamous project. Yes. How infamous? Um, I watched it with a friend and we were both cringing the entire time, especially yeah. in Kevin's part. <laughs> any, any, anything I made in college, I don't really want... In, well, in the public, I, I, know, I know exactly. I don't want to say what it was, but I know exactly why you were uh, yeah. cringing. Well, it, it, it let's just say it doesn't surprise me that you went to Japan because you did play an Asian character. <laughs> and I read, hey, I read the script as was. So, <laughs> warts and What's all. What's funny is uh, we got an A on that project too. Probably for that reason. Mm-hmm. Is this the mm-hmm. same one where you were uh, also cosplaying as a? Uh, person that's in a uh like a wheelie chair no Is no that, that, was, that was that was post-college <laughs> okay yeah check that out hey go to my youtube page <laughs> check it out well i don't know i guess we'll link to it if i feel like it but uh we're back i own netrunner in the chat asks if you are you sure you didn't get an s or an ss Ooh, double s no that's a, got, that's a rare score we got an a plus and uh we beat out some people who made a horror movie and we beat out somebody who made a uh it was trying to be like a beautiful mind kind of thing. Has and, there ever uh, been a good college horror movie? Maybe that's a uh, dumb. There's probably been like, I don't well, think there's so. been like 20, or there's probably been a million, but. Well, I think Evil Dead was a college project, or at least it started off as one. Was there ever a good coll- a horror college movie from somebody we know? Mm, no, let me, uh, let me look through my phone book. No, there's nobody in there. It's probably made the best. <laughs> the best. So we got some show news. We got some stickers. Uh, that's right. Red bubble, baby. Yeah, we finally got some stickers. You can 
slap them on light posts. You can slap them on hookers' asses. Stickers. And they hey, got our stick faces to your on friends. Them. You can you can stick you can stick them right on your friends. Stick them on your mom. You can and stick guess what? You buy buy them in bulk and they're cheaper. <laughs> and st- if you st- if you throw them up locally, people are going to be like, "Hey, who are these two handsome anime characters?" I'm going to find out. Google Thought Cops. Oh my God! What is this? I love it. Scroll to the bottom of the page. I'm hooked. Hit See, page number I, two. I have a suggestion, it, and, and I know you already made the stickers, but hear me out. Yes. Instead of just putting thought cops, why don't you just put uh, "Please Google the"? That's a really good idea. Well, we're going to have more stickers coming out soon. They're going to say stuff like that. They're just going to keep getting wordier and wordier and wordier. Yeah. Put thought cops. Yes. And subscribe to us by going on iTunes, searching thought cops, clicking the fifth uh, suggestion <laughs> down. Mm hmm. Page two. Put that on the back of the sticker. The one that yeah. sticks. <laughs> yeah. Once again, these are just suggestions. <laughs> but just spitball in here. Not everything. They're also be recommendations. Cool. So hey, yeah, get some stickers, everybody. Seriously, we got we got merch too at the old Teespring store. If you go to our website, thoughtcopspodcast.com, click on the store tab. We get all kinds of shirts. And hoodies. Working on a new mugs. shirt design right now. New shirts coming soon. But for now, get those fucking stickers out. Come on, guys. We're, sorry for getting aggressive. We're also going to work on the April ride alongs tonight. Get those done. Get yes. those sent out. And then uh, May will be right after that. So that's right. Keep an eye out if you're a patron. If you're not one, go to patreon.com slash thought cops and uh, sign up. It's a good idea. And then uh, last but not least, we got the uh, live show that we're doing August 22nd in Chicago. That's right. At the Crowd Theater with Asterios, Coconos, and Mumkey Jones. That's going to sell out, everybody. So get those tickets now. We'll include a link in the description of the episode. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. It's going to be May, guys. <laughs> I was... Oh, 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 oh. I love a good wow. It's going to be May meme. That would have been, that would have been a great two minutes of hate last week. Unfortunately, yeah. it's May now. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but I'm, know, I'm, right, there. I'm right there with you. Yeah. <laughs> I got to say, though, I haven't seen anyone posted in sincerity this year. At oh, least the last couple years. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah they're mostly... It. It's mostly... Um, I, and this will sound sexist, but it's mostly women who mm. just love JT. No, you're right. I, I could see that happening. I could see that being true. He's telling it like it is. Yeah. It's a spicy meme for, for the ladies. Yes. Spicy he, is, he is a uh, gender realist. Sorry, That's everybody. That's what we're calling that. Yeah. Is that what Donald Glover's character was in the solo movie? I didn't see it, but I, 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 know it that, I know that he had sex with aliens. Yeah. He, yeah no, he was like into robots, I think. I think who's that's not what gender in, realists are. They're into mm, the robots. Who's not into robots? I mean, in this day and age, if you don't well, have Kevin, one, you went to Japan. You probably yes. ran into a few sex robots. <clears throat> no comment. <laughs> it, it was li- the, the if robots they're listening the American, right now at, at the American restaurant. The robots there. That's right, American restaurant just over here. The uh, sign says <laughs> included a uh, American manager and an American chef with Getty images of two white guys. And I thought they were robots. I thought that's what they, the flyer was saying. No, the robots were these giant 10-foot-tall ladies. Mm. Wow. That's what we're, all look, what we're all looking for, isn't that right? Yeah. So we got some yes. beef before potatoes this week. It's been a while since we've had our beef. Yeah, I got some beef. I got some real big beef. I got some big beef right now. Mm. I got it. It's, it's got in the fryer. Too. You got a beef, too? I got a beef. At least how, one. How, how are you uh, preparing yours? Uh, it, it's been brewing for about two years. It's been a brewing. Brewing beef. Huh. Brewing. In, interesting mm-hmm. way to uh, cook. You know, so you know when you make uh, Italian beef, you know how you got your little bucket of uh, spices? Yeah. It's, it's the proverbial spices that have been a brewing. And mm-hmm. I got my meat ready to dip in, into the proverbial spice of hatred. Speaking of the proverbial spice of hatred... Nathan Pyle, everybody. Nathan Pyle, Mr. Alien Man himself. Sancho, have you seen these comics? These alien comics? They're describing I love everyday them. actions. Big fan. And, yeah. Big fan. What's, what's wrong with you? What do you mean what's wrong with me? They're great. Grant, let people, <laughs> let people enjoy things. Shh. Yeah, Grant. Well, Jesus. Well, Typical uh, Apple for, user. That's... All right. That's not... Uh, <laughs> 
that's not the premise of the show. The premise of the show is to destroy everything. And uh, so that's what I hope to do. Nathan Pyle's got a fucking book out for pre-order. Jesus. Mm. A book of alien comics speaking incorrectly. Okay. If you speaking want, my language if, incorrectly. If you want to Only support, I speak my language incorrectly. <laughs> if you want to support a war criminal, buy his book. <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's a thought that's a thought cops exclusive nathan Pyle is a war criminal and you remember if you buy- 2012 yeah, yeah yeah that was nathan Pyle. Pyle <laughs> Pyle 2019 i hope he runs uh in 2020 again i think i just heard a gunshot outside <laughs> could have been i'm pretty sure it it's was. been known to happen anyway the show must go on um Put your head out there just say it just scream out is anybody shooting anybody yeah you boys doing okay um, anybody want a sticker Who's shooting out there? <laughs> yeah. Point point one of these squirt guns at him. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens. Good idea. No, they're all Android users, all the people who shoot. They don't know what you're talking about. So I got some two minutes of hate. I came across a, uh, you know, these uh, dating apps and everything. They got, you know, but I came across a bio on somebody's page that said blue text bubbles only. I don't mm. get it. You, know, you wouldn't get it. I get it. That's right. I, I uh, But blue text bubbles... That's what iPhone to iPhone. See, Grant, let me show you. I know you're a little, <clears throat> you know, maybe you're kind of, I don't know. I, don't I, try, wa- not, I try my best not to be elitist, so you're right. It's, I probably wouldn't understand what you're talking about. See, look, blue bubbles. And when, you, when an iPhone texts an iPhone, you can see when they're typing, the bubbles are blue. Yeah, I don't, why would I want that? I don't want that. But when I text you, I got to look at these yeah, disgusting good. I, green bubbles. I don't want to see when other people are typing messages. I never want to see that. It gives it just, me anxiety. No, I'm kidding. I mean, th- no, it's it's crazy that like, I, and I'm pretty sure she was like mostly serious because it was like a, after a list of things. But that's, in my opinion, classist. You know, it's like what are we Having saying? A, that only 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 rich people can have iPhones. Uh, blue bubbles only. Blue bubbles matter. Is that what's going on a, here? It actually happened to me. I was uh, messaging somebody on a dating app, and then mm-hmm. we exchanged phone numbers. And she was like, oh, you have a green text. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> it went right. Yeah, oh, jeez. Hey, man, you weed them out, though. That's that's a good way to weed out the rude people in this world. Well, it's you know, like... You weed out some horrible people that way. Sure. It's like uh, Jordan Peterson said that Karl Marx said, um, you know, we're trying to create a dictatorship of the uh, android proletariat class. That's straight from the uh, Android Manifesto. The con- yeah, I see. I could see Android users being communists. I could see that. I think Bernie has an Android. That would not Typical. surprise me. Yeah. Typical. Yeah. So I, I would say I bet they have. I bet they have. Uh, I bet they have androids in Venezuela. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, oh, whoa! And, and look what and look what happened there. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you, you sounded like Matt Pat right there. That's just a theory, a communist theory, a gamer theory. <laughs> <laughs> so my punishment here is: uh, you got to use a flip phone. Bubbles? Hey, they're all gray. That's you not a punishment. What? That's what it was. No, it is. I'm taking away their smartphones, and they only have flip phones, and it says, you know, everybody is created equal. That means all the bubbles are the same colors. And, See, uh, this is what communism gets you. It's, right. Uh, everybody's yeah, it's equal. Bernie. Everybody's Everybody equally gets a poor. flip phone. <laughs> yeah. I it's don't good. have a smartphone. I have a flip phone. See, but Obama was all like, everybody gets an iPhone. <laughs> hey, if you like your iPhone, you can keep it. Hey, you know how drug dealers have flip phones? <laughs> you know how you know what they yes. call them burners? Burners, yeah. Because oh, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Because of socialism. I had a flip phone until like 2013. I didn't get we'll, a smartphone uh, we'll, until then. Uh, so we cut that out. You know, considering <laughs> considering how the uh, suicide rate won't stop rising, and how social media has been proven to make everyone anxious and depressed, and is just ruining everyone's lives with just these long streaks of loneliness. Uh, maybe we should all just go back to the stone age of just having flip phones. Maybe that would just be better for everybody. Take it away I, the apps. I miss the uh, dramatic hanging up on somebody by flipping your phone down. That's a, that's the cool thing about the flip phone. You just break it in mm. half like in Breaking Bad. <laughs> Burners. Burner bros. Walt has two phones. Why does Walt have two phones? Uh, the, chat is, that? the chat is calling us boomers because of flip phones. 
Uh, I own Everner brings up a good point. He says iPhone users can't send real. Wait. Is that true? Yeah, he, no, that is a real good point. Let me let me fuck see, iPhone users. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you a link, Grant, and I want you to uh, I want you to show me what it looks like on your phone. All right. In the meantime, uh, as you're taking 12 minutes to send this link, uh, Sancho, do you have a uh, two minutes of hate this week you want to bring in? I do, I do, and this is a this is what I was talking about. What, what's been a Bruin for about two years or so? Yeah. Um. So. It's just something I was thinking about when I saw, I just saw Avengers and, uh, you know, great, great film and, uh, you know, wraps up like 11 years of movies. Right. right. Um, I walked out of the theater. I was thinking about, I was like, man, that was really great. It paid off so well. And then I thought about star Wars, the last Jedi and these sacks of shit at Lucasfilm can can't think of a trilogy like a story that makes sense through three movies because they hire two different directors two different people had two different ideas and so the last jedi this is a piece of shit movie that people love for some reason well sancho i gotta stop you there the original trilogy had three different directors it did but george lucas had a story that he had them like following throughout the three movies and he okay. i think yeah. he had a hand in hiring those directors um that's, I guess that's more what I mean, is that there is some kind of plan for all three, where in the uh, Force Awakens and Last Jedi, I know this is like the nerdiest thing to be upset about. Uh, yeah, there's there, worse. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is why I'm They made because... Twilight Sparkles uh, rainbow wrong. It's supposed to be red, green, blue, and not red, blue, green. Bartleby isn't in the Sonic movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic's lover Bartleby. Anyway, Sancho. I'll, I'll, I'll Sonic's ass in. isn't big enough. Well, there's no knuckles either. I haven't seen any knuckles in Sonic, so I'm, I'm, ups, I'm ready to get upset about that. But what I'm upset about is that they had 11 years to make Avengers amazing and to make the Marvel to wrap it all up. They had 11 years to think about it, and these dummies over at, at Lucasfilm just like handed the keys over to the sequel to just some guy. And they're just like, oh, just do whatever you want. And so he just took a hot shit all over Star Wars. And now, now Lucasfilm in the most, like, you could just totally tell they're like, well, all the nerds didn't like the second one. So let's, let's backtrack. So they hired JJ Abrams back. He did the first one and now he's doing the third one and everybody's all butthurt because he's the, the emperor is going to be in this third one. And they're like, well, now they're backtracking because they heard in the second one that they were throwing everything away. So I just, I'm just really pissed off that. They managed to get Marvel right, but now they're taking a hot shit all over Star Wars. And it, it ain't right. It seems like a lot of these people that are involved in these movie making processes have like no idea what the fuck they're Seriously, doing. Seriously, like DC mm-hmm. Cinematic Universe is an absolute disaster. Like they're, it's stupid. They're remaking Suicide Squad, apparently, allegedly. Really? They're just remaking it. It was so bad that they're just remaking it. <laughs> that is so sad. Wow. They were going to make two, and then Will Smith was like, I'm not doing this. I got better things to do. I got to go be in the the new Aladdin movie. Just wait until you guys see that. You see Will Smith is playing in a movie with himself. That's right. Will Smith is jerking off in a movie. No, there is a movie called <laughs> the Louis C.K. Gem- Gemini Man, where it's Will- starring Will Smith. It's Will Smith because, as because Louis C.K. Not, because there's not enough diversity in Hollywood. <laughs> so anyway, speaking of diversity, Star Wars, we're upset. Yeah, we're angry. I'm pissed. We're here, we're queer, and uh, however the rest of that goes. I mean, I would say... Sorry, Real quick, I I would say that the Marvel movies, it's like, that's a fluke. You know, there's no Mm. reason that should work as well as it did. You know, and they're they're not all great, but... No. You know... There there is a cohesive vision, though. Yeah, I don't see that happening again. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. It's like Kevin Feige is the guy behind the Marvel movies. Had some sort of idea of where they were going to go. And... Kathleen Kennedy is the Kevin Feige equivalent in Lucasfilm, and she just kind of lets somebody take the story that was built off this reboot and just kind of make it their own. But then the problem was is that they, the Ryan Johnson, the director, just basically threw everything away and said, we're not going to follow anything about Star Wars. It's just going to be all brand new. And I guess they thought that that was going to be a super hit. And I think it didn't make as much money as they wanted it to. And they got all the nerds butt hurt, and all the nerds who loved Star Wars that didn't like The Last Jedi didn't show up to Solo, so Solo tanked in the box office. 
And so now this is their freaking out moment. They're just basically, all right, well, here's JJ again. Here, make, make the thing that everybody likes. Right. Yeah. If they would have done that in the first place, like, I don't think right. I didn't see The Last Jedi uh, because it just I heard such bad things about it. Some I, people like I it. I liked it. A Some lot of people, people are. It. Yeah. I didn't like it at first. It sat with me longer and then I liked it more. And to be honest, it's actually kind of how I felt about Endgame. But uh, this is not this is not Fire Bros. You know, we're not. You want to you hear that? Listen to Fire Bros, our spinoff podcast. But <laughs> for, you know, what it is. Hey, Sancho, you're not one of these uh, remake The Last Jedi guys, are you? No, I mean, you're not I'm trying to raise money. I'm to watch it again. Mm. Seriously, I, I don't I have no desire to ever. Wa- I would rather watch a prequel than watch The Last Jedi again. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Um, well, you know, the the uh, director for Episode Nine was changed before Last Jedi came out. It was right. supposed to be the director of Jurassic World. Which yeah, had Colin no, nobody, Trevorrow. Yeah, nobody wanted that, so they just gave and, it back well, to... They, they, they loved it because he made this billion-dollar movie with Jurassic World, but then he mm-hmm. made this independent movie that was awful, and I think they freaked out, and they were just like, just, 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 just throw in JJ, JJ. They just got him in the corner somewhere and just like, come here, come on. I really want. This. I really want to see what's uh, what's her name, Ray. I, I really want to see Ray riding a motorcycle in a in a pack of four in in the middle of a pack of four uh, Jar Jars. Yeah. yeah. Or uh, yeah, or Jar Jars. <laughs> Lars yeah. in the chat says you guys are really adding to the thirty year old boomer thing, complaining about Last Jedi so much. Hey, you can't be oh, hey, two I minutes of hate. This is this why is I'm the- Sancho today. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can Sancho. Be myself with no repercussions. No. You you can punish these people however you want. This is your oh. chance. Well, okay. This, this is, your is, time this, to is shine. My, this is my thing. So, okay. The people who don't like the people who don't like The Last Jedi. I, I understand why people like it. At least, no, I don't. But I can understand why people have an opinion. Honest. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how they like the movie. But if the, my, my biggest butthurt complaint about people who don't like people who didn't like The Last Jedi is that they call a sexist or they say, well, you just don't like women because, you know, there's like the, the minority people on Twitter who are just like, I don't like when women do things. And that's not true at all. It's got nothing to do with with women. It's got nothing to do with I, I hate diversity or something. It's just they're all poorly written characters. That's that's, yeah. that's all it is. It's a, it, and, and it's got nothing to do with me not liking women. Like I and said, so, bef- like I said my, before, you're not a you're not a gender supremacist. You're a gender mm-hmm. realist. I'm uh, Nico, I, I'm just Nico, Nico, Nico I'm in the just chat says, I like The Last Jedi, but I hate women. We exist. There you oh, go. Right. And my punishment for you is uh, you. the only fast food you're allowed to eat is Arby's. Oh, Maron. And, and you can't get the curly fries. Hmm. Fuck, what's the point then? <laughs> <laughs> That's your punishment. Uh, following up with uh, the previous story, Kevin did send me a link, and it was a link to um, it, "Never please? Gonna Give You Up" by Rick Astley. Can I oh, see what it looks like? Fucking boomer Rick shit over here. I did not. Send, I did not send you that. Baby Rick boomer. Roll. Yeah. I, I did not. Jokes. Embarrassing. <laughs> Let me see what it looked like. Don't point your gun at me. <laughs> Don't drop your gun and then grab for another one and I'm then point your other. Waving gun at it me. around. My brother got Rick rolled at his wedding, so. I think that's the last time you could do it. Did I ever tell the story on here about when I rickrolled like an entire wedding in a really bad way? Oh, you also you also rickrolled the entire dick show live. Did I? Yeah, remember for the uh, well the pre show, the karaoke night. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nobody was listening at that point, but no, I I uh, I was at a wedding once and I kept asking for "Never Gonna Give You Up" by Rick Astley, and the DJ just wouldn't play it. And then can't imagine why I went up two or three times. uh, (laughs) And like the last time, like just before I was leaving, I asked for it again. And he was like, Rick, Rick Asley, right? Rick, like he seemed confused by the request. And I was like, yeah, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. Just fucking play the song. No, he wasn't. So uh, he he looks confused and he's like, "Okay, okay, I got you. And he starts playing it. And uh, whatever song ends whatever song is before it ends and then you start hearing salsa music and 
it, it was a it was a predominantly Mexican wedding, and then wow. I realized this guy has a, only an instrumental version of the salsa version of a cover of Rick Astley's "Never Never Gonna Give You Up," and it cleared the entire dance floor. Everybody left. It was hilarious. It's one of the proudest things, one of the proudest moments of my life. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it. Grant, do you think you there's t- anybody out there who genuinely likes that song and and just I, hates I, the I fact kind, that I it's, kinda it's, do. it's a meme? I kind of do like it a little bit. I go in and out of it. We're losers. What can I say? Grant, yeah. what's your two minutes of eight? Um, so, uh, who, uh, let's see. Uh, how, do, how, do I, how do I begin this? What, what do you guys uh, think about some of the people that are running for president right now? They're cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I like they're, Peter they're, Gudigan. Yeah. What do you, what do you yeah. like about him? That he's not... That he's just some guy. I don't know. I just love that. He's just some oh, guy. You're, he's you're not, he's not like a... He's been around for forever. He's not creepy Uncle uh, Joe just, you know, getting up oh, behind okay. people and touching them. He's not Bernie. He's just some guy. And he served in the military. That's pretty cool. Can't remember the last president we had with military experience or... Um, I think he's genuine. So it's like everything everybody else is not. Like everybody else is trying to like pretend that they're genuine and he just kind of seems like he is. Oh, oh well, that's cool. You know, you know what I like about P- Pete Buttigieg the most? What's that? He's fucking, he's awesome, man. <laughs> he's really fucking <laughs> he's, cool. He's a cool he's, dude. He's so cool. He, uh, I don't know what his policies are, but he wants Fish to play at his inauguration. Whoa! That's badass, yeah. man. He's just like me. He likes yeah. all the bands that I like. He's, uh, <laughs> oh my someone God. Someone asked him what, what song sums up his political opinions, and he said, What It's Like by Everclear. It's so I also, uh, I also grew up in the 90s, and I also know know that song yeah that's fucking he's a millennial. awesome millennial i think he's like 38 there's a video of him playing spoon on like a spoon song on the piano i think that's uh that's the way we get by by spoon i wow. also like listening to spoon it's so fucking <laughs> cool spoon retweeted him isn't that cool that's badass we'll get a president that's gotten retweeted by spoon and what, you, are the, what are the others up You to? know who else is cool? Beto O'Rourke. <laughs> no. <laughs> he wants, guys, he, he wants fu, he wants Fugazi capitalism. You, you guys. are saying it wrong on purpose. He wants Fugazi capitalism. Fugazi? <laughs> Everybody gets $5. There's no point if, correcting him anymore. He doesn't. Beto, Everybody Beto's gets real five good at standing dollars. on tables and shouting at people. Oh, he's, he's good at like, standing on tables. You know what else he's good at? He's good <laughs> at skateboarding. <laughs> He's really good at skateboarding. You know who else is good at skateboarding? Andrew Yang, who challenged Beto O'Rourke to a skate off. <laughs> they're gonna have a skateboard off. They're gonna this be super, super productive. They're gonna be kick flipping their way straight into the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> I would do a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater tournament before I do a skateboarding competition. Yeah. Beto O'Rourke also used to play in a band. He he wore a dress, and he's going to have the Mars Volta reunite yeah, for his inauguration. That's right. Yeah, uh, he's going to have them reunite. He used to be a pu- he was, he used to be in a punk band. He's got my vote. Love standing on tables. Love it. Oh God, I don't even mean to like fucking shit on these people because i don't really care about them all that much but like the media shoving down how cool these like 40 year olds are (laughs) straight down shoving in my throat how cool 40 year olds are it's they're not they're not cool guys they're they're running for political office it's not good try stop trying to tell me that it's cool it's not cool there's nothing about it that's cool i bet you know honestly ken did it like bernie bernie you go up to him and you ask him do you even know what it's like? <laughs> See, believe it at that. <laughs> Wait, hold on, give me give me a second here. Just do you know what it's like? Uh. Be like, hey Bernie, I knew I knew this kid named Max who used to get fat stacks out in the corner with drugs. He liked to hang out late. He liked to get shit faced, and he and he keep the pace with the thugs. Until one night, there was a big gunfight, and Max lost his head. He pulled out his Chrome forty five, talked some shit, and wound up dead. You know what? Then you might really know what it's like, Bernie. Then you might really know what it's like to have to lose. <laughs> you f- old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You'll sick of shit. You lost for a reason. Yeah, because he's uh, 
because he never had Spoon retweet him. Exactly. There are a bunch of Spoon heads out there who voted for Hillary instead. Yeah. So you vote in Republican or what? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm voting for Donny T. Big Big D. Um, Big D. I think Big I D. think we're all voting for Big D. The Donny um, T. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't really have an answer for this. this you know, is I just, just, I just realized something. When the next generation of people run for president, like around our age, yeah. They're like you say big D, yeah, it will be like dick measuring contest because every president will have like a, <laughs> a dick, dick pick out, out there. there somewhere. Yep. <laughs> and, and I'm not gonna vote for the guy with a small dick if I know what it looks like. <laughs> They're gonna have like a uh, you know how you release your tax returns when you run for president? It's just yeah. like you just release your, <laughs> release your dick, your picks. dick picks. <laughs> you release your dudes. So if it's a lady president, you know, it's like it's makes it more interesting. But if it's a guy president, it's just like, let me see those dicks there. will that that's basically the end of the patriarchy right there. Nobody will vote for a man president ever again because they see their weenus and they go. Yeah, that ain't I, right. I don't want to see it. <laughs> so I'll just Do you think Bernie Sanders is circumcised? It. He has to be, right? Yeah, he's Jewish. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Well, that's all that debate. <laughs> Grant, what's the punishment, man? Uh, uh, it's just uh, fucking all of these cool politics. Again, it's not, it's, I don't have a fucking problem. I mean, relatively speaking, compared to m- what my gripe is, I don't have a problem with any of these guys, aside from the fact that the media keeps trying to tell me that they're cool. You know what? Uh, what? Uh, what are a couple couple like big news media websites nowadays? We got like the Huffington Post, <clears throat> um, Hard Times. No, like real real ones, oh, actual my, ones. My bad. Uh, Lars says uh, the Hill, the only good source. Um, so we got the Hill, we got Huffington Blaze. Post, NPR, not the Blaze. I mean, like actual respectable C-SPAN, I guess. Um, so all oh, of those get all of those. Wars. Info wars. Every every news media conglomerate website distributor, whatever you want to call it, uh, they all get canceled. They all have to send out zines from now on because nice. it's the '90s, baby. Because it's the '90s and things are cool. We we're listening to Everclear. We're listening to uh, Incubus is cool again. We got fucking um, Santana. That's pretty awesome. Well, I, I think we should take it a step further. Every presidential candidate has to, their slogan has to be a rocket power quote. Speaking of zines. Yeah. Huffington Post, now a zine. Like, good, good luck reaching your audience sending out handmade pamphlets. You know what? It's not so bad. You know, you want to publish zines. You want to rage against machines. You want to pierce your tongue. It doesn't even hurt. It feels fine. And you kill your mind. What do poetic. you think, Bernie? You old fuck. The Huffington Zine. That's actually a really good band, aside from their one-hit wonder. Uh, everybody check out uh, Harvey Danger. But I'm just imagining Bernie Sanders. Sanders standing on the street corner handing out pamphlets, just going, It's the Huffington Zine! The <laughs> flame of 1%! Sh- <laughs> we got 99% of your content here in this Huffington Zine! His hair's all flying around in the wind. As is known to happen... So if you haven't listened to Thought Cops before, every week we investigate the internet's outrage-inducing news stories, and then we sentence each perpetrator to a cruel and uh, often very unusual punishment. So, you know, we talked about this a little bit at the beginning. Sonic. Blue Blur. Speeds by. Mm. Sonic the Hedgehog. Speed of sound. We didn't talk about Sonic at all last episode, did we? No. We, this is, so we, this is all, like, within the past two days. This is within the last two few, days. Like, few hours, yeah. actually. So, the Sonic trailer came out as of this recording yesterday, mm. and nobody liked it. No. I <laughs> yeah. think it's got it more was, dislikes than likes on YouTube. It was very unanimously hated. He looks creepy. He looks sexy and creepy at the same time. I don't like it. I don't, I don't <laughs> like looks, how it makes me feel. He reminds me of a Dr. Seuss character. If you look at his, yeah, uh, yeah. him just standing, he looks like he should be in one fish, two fish. Red, fl- red fish, blue hedgehog. That's red. F- I I do gotta say uh, the another thing about the movie. It just looks like a movie. Speaking of you know throwbacks and whatnot, it looks like a movie that should have been made in two thousand two. Yeah, it looks like the sp- same. Like yeah. the Spy Kids or something. Yeah, like they use Gangsta's Paradise as the Ugh. song. And in the, there's in a great the trailer. Uh, there's a great YouTube comment that was like, "Yes, when I think of Sonic, I think of." 
gangster's paradise. <laughs> That's a great comment. Um, That's a great comment. There's a bullet time reference to oh a movie that was made God. in 1999. What was the, the bullet time reference? Was it? Was the, it? The, the, the I, I thought it, it, thing? it had to be all the rockets that are flying to him, and he like he stops that time. More, that and he like more plays drums on him. Uh, it looks like it was ripped off from X Men: Days of Future Past because there's a. a I mean, it could be, the, but that's that's also got to be a reference to like that's that that was the first movie to do that, right? At yes, least within popular yes. culture, like the stop the bullets, stop time, yeah, yeah. The Matrix, oh, yeah. and then and then Shrek when they were uh, yeah doing a goof on it, and then every other comedy movie that came out after it. Yeah, and then this one in 2019. And it, it just has the aesthetic <laughs> of fucking Kangaroo Jack. Yeah. It looks like a movie that should have came out in 2002. What do you think of Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik? I think he'll be good. I think think he'll be good, too. I think he doesn't look at all like the character until the very last shot of the trailer, which is probably... Which is just... It's it's an origin story. That's the thing. It's It's like the fucking Mario Brothers movie, where... You know, the cover of the movie shows him in their classic overalls, red shirt, blue or, mm-hmm. uh, you know, green shirt. And then if you watch the movie, they don't wear the classic outfit until the last 10 minutes. And <laughs> yeah, I can that's, guarantee that's you that it's going to happen. Sad. It's like in Daredevil. He has to earn the suit. Oh, so yeah. this was so poorly received that this afternoon, the director took to Twitter uh, and his name is one second. The director, Jeff Fowler, on Twitter this afternoon says, Thank you for the support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear. You aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Wow. Everyone, at, everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. Hashtag Sonic movie. Hashtag gotta fix fast. Boy, he and kid. Wow, how many? No. He seriously said that? Yes. That's, how many 90 hour work weeks? Are these fucking animators going to have to do leading up to this movie coming out? This a is lot like, more with no overtime. This is insane. That is... I, like, talk about unreal. damage. It's like we are talking about before, like with Suicide Squad. Yeah. They're like, oh, the movie's not funny enough. Oh, it's not dark enough. Oh, it's not funny enough. They had to reshoot stuff over and over. The movie comes out. Everybody hates it. They remake it two years later. Everybody leaves it. Like, these companies are so out of touch. That's Dude. insane that... I mean, I'm one, trying one, to wrap my mind around this. One thing that I've heard people say, and I, I tend to agree with this because either it's complete ineptitude that people are just like, yeah, I don't know what Sonic the Hedgehog is. Um, I don't know what Sonic the Hedgehog is. Just just put the movie out. People people like this shit, right? They're they're gonna watch the Detective well, Pikachu movie. Either either they think that and they don't know any better and it's just 80 year old men in a room that are just you know flipping levers and whatever or they did it completely on purpose well up that's the thing too like real quick up to the movie coming out i think i think we talked about it a few months ago on the show where the production meeting powerpoint slides leaked out to the internet talking about how sonic is cool and how his brand is (laughs) and what he's supposed to look like which makes me think it's probably not I know, like you said, some people think yeah. that it was all a fraud. People think that it was made bad on purpose. I mean, so we'll never know, it. but those I think those are the two options. That one, Hollywood's completely inept at this type of shit. Or two, that they totally planned on having this be some sort of like outrageous bomb. And then, like, what? The very next day, they're like, we hear you. We hear your complaints. It's like... Not enough time has fucking passed. You know, it's yeah, it's weird because Did you have that tweet loaded up. Did you have it queued? It was in his drafts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but for real, I feel like there is just the Internet just as you know, the feedback loop we have was just completely different where this movie would, like you said, in 2003 would have just come out and tanked. Mm-hmm. But now it's like these people can make as many mistakes as they want, but they also get as many second chances and it's still going to come out and it's probably still going to be fucking stupid. Yeah. It's it's insane to me that a, a, a movie production, because you, when you think about it, like you were saying, these animators probably worked thousands of hours, and they, they probably finished at least 90% of the movie, and now for the director just to go, well, whoopsie doodle, let's fix it for the fans, mm-hmm. and time for a release, I mean, it's going to look like shit. Because that's what happened with, uh, I think, Justice League. They they switched directors and they had to fix everything and then the well, animated <laughs> bad guy looked like shit. 
Let's airbrush S- Superman's mustache off. <laughs> that, yes. that's, this is I that level of that. bad. <laughs> yeah. This is embarrassing. I can never stop it's thinking so about it. so embarrassing. Yes, the Superman mustache all over again. So, I guess we got to punish uh, Mr. Jeff Fowler, you know? Oh. Hey, my opinion, no second chances. Here, here's, you know? uh, here's my punishment for what you said his name is Jeff Fowler. Yeah. <laughs> if... Here, here, here's this is my this is my punishment. This is my this is my impression of him. He has he has to listen to me do this. If you like to go real fast, you might be a hedgehog. Oh my god! <laughs> my my punishment for What's him would happening? be he has to play Ghosts and Goblins on Sega Genesis on the hard mode. Don't tempt him. He'll make a live action adaptation. <laughs> <of it. laughs> oh, this will be great for my next film. Uh, it's just like Joe Sonic. and Joe, Joe in the chat says uh, Sonic looks like my friend in real life. They have the same small, skinny body and no penis and no pe- <laughs> <laughs> and no clothes, <laughs> just shoes. That's the creepy thing about it is you know we've talked before about the uncanny valley with uh, character yeah. design. Mm-hmm. When you have someone whose body looks so anatomically real. And it it just looks like a naked kid wearing shoes. <laughs> it's disturbing. He's got no penis. It's weird. He's just like he doesn't look anything like Sonic. He looks no, nothing he looks like, like he looks like a man who got thrown into a Dr. Seuss book and then got thrown back out with no penis. Just like trapped in the body of a fucking anthropomorphic hedgehog. It's one of oh, those. Oh, me out. It's one of those like God, I'm scared. Dr. Seuss factories where they got you on a conveyor belt and this like gloved yeah. hand just rips your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Sonic the Hedgehog was made. Classic. The Who's in Whoville throw them in the penis removing machine and he gets thrown back out. No penis for him. Ooh. Wiped off clean. <laughs> Where did my peen go, he said with a grin. Well, we threw it in the recycling bin. In the recycling bean. Because <laughs> it, it rhymes and Dr. Seuss has to rhyme. But it's also like actually a big bean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, love Do- I love Dr. Seuss. I don't care. Uh, speaking of uh, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> really, this let's, is how, let's hear this. Just give me the show. Let's hear this. On. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook introduces a new secret crush feature. Uh, so we talked a little bit about dating apps at the head of the show there. So Facebook, it looks like they're trying to get on this because, you know, who hasn't, uh, you know, who hasn't had a good crush, you know? Mm hmm. I've got my. Uh... Well, now now you can tell them without having to tell them because. Wait, wait, I got it. I've got my likes. I've got my secret crush. Vote for me, uh, Officer Grant for President 2020. I like, um, what's, what's that band? Fugazi. Fugazi, yeah. Fugazi. So this feature allows you to put nine people on your secret crush list. This is like a MySpace top eight. <laughs> uh, if wow. some, but nobody can see it. So if somebody puts you on their list and it's a match, your names will be revealed. If it's one-sided, the names stay secret. Yes, R.E.M. Thank you, Zwick. Many point out how this could go really wrong. For example, yeah, someone that's... someone adds a person as a joke to bully someone. That's not good. I, you... I would be so upset if somebody bullied me like that. Or you're creating well, like... on the internet don't bully each other, Kevin. That's I, So I don't know where that where he's coming from. Yeah, I, I guess they only do that like at school and... Or you're creating yeah, gro- like... Grocery store. Better tools for stalkers <laughs> to exploit. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma, what was that? You're, you're creating tools for stalkers to exploit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I, I, I'm going to come on. I don't like this. I don't. I don't. I Brave. Don't, you know, Facebook has already have enough anxiety when I'm using it. I don't want to have to think about people either who I don't want to have crushes on me, or people who won't reciprocate the vast amount of love that I have. You know. I, so what if I put my crush out there and I wait and I wait and I wait and I never hear back and I just go on Facebook and every time I'm on Facebook I think about it. I don't like that. Well, and Facebook's already dealing with the the privacy issue. Like, they just had their big uh, talk thing, like their annual talk, and Mark Zuckerberg said that they were going to focus more on privacy. And isn't this just completely opposite of your goal? If that's... if I mean, Pretty yeah, much. it stays private, but you, like you're saying, you, people can exploit it. I don't, I don't want Shine to know who I have a crush on. <laughs> 
And, yeah, and what are they going to use that information adults. for? If you like somebody, just tell them. We don't have to act like we're in eighth grade. Just like, no, do you we're, like we do. Yes we do. No? That's why we have so many fucking dating apps and all this other gobbledygook. Yeah, because people can't walk up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still got Dr. Seuss on the brain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, dating apps, I understand because meeting people in your 20s is hell. Because it's so hard just to walk up to somebody and go, would you like to be my friend without coming off as creepy or too, too forward? That's actually how this podcast started. <laughs> would you like to be my friend? Would yeah. you like to start a podcast? Meeting people in life is hell. Yeah. Hey, it's like the uh, Matt Groening comic strip. Life is hell and love is hell. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good throwback. I like it that. Is. It is. Hey, I'm running for president, uh, Democratic Party. If you like 90s stuff, you like The Simpsons, you like... I like The Simpsons. You like Life in Hell. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, that, that, boy, that, that, boy, that Boy Ain't Right, uh, King of the Hill, um, stuff yeah, like King that. Yeah, King of the Hill, references. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. <laughs> Seuss, yeah. Uh, I use for me. <laughs> well, what do you think about the movie Wayne's World? Love it. What, what year did that come out? 93? 93, yeah. I love it. You love Wayne's World? Uh, what love about... The first Austin Powers movie. What do you think about that movie? Uh, that, that, was like 90, that was 99, right? 97. 97? Probably I believe, yeah. 97. I like it. I love it. Written. You love it? Yeah, it's funny. What do you think about uh, Adam Sandler? But not not Adam Sandler right now. Ooh, Adam Sandler yeah. in the 90s. What do you uh, think about He him? is the funniest, hottest guy on the planet. Yeah. This guy's killing it. First two right out the gate were great. Anyway. What do you think about the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie? The one that came out in, in 1994. The, you, you almost tricked me. There was a movie uh, that came out a couple years ago. Uh, not that one. <laughs> the one. The one that was sponsored by Krispy Kreme. No, I, I'm talking. Yeah, the one in the 90s was good. Everything else is fucking uh, gobbledygook. Love what do you it. think about the Rugrats? Hilarious. But. What about Ren and Stimpy? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? <laughs> what is this? The movie Ca- Captain Marvel where it's just is nothing this? with. <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining Kevin going out to, to campaign for himself and he just goes up on stage and just goes, remember Austin Powers? No, it's just Grant remember next to me and then Rocko's I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> you Rocko's like Modern Wayne's Life. World? Remember uh, b- getting jiggy with it off of Bill- Big Willie style Will Smith's <laughs> debut rap album? Yep. Do you, you remember, remember it? Wild Wild West, Wiki Wiki Wow Wow. Hey, I believe that was... Post nineties? No, it was ninety nine. Was it? Okay, so right, right on the edge. Right on the edge. So, fa- what are we talking about? <laughs> Facebook crushes. You ever? Um, you guys are. You guys have MySpace. I know Grant, you had one. Yeah, I had Sancho, one. Sancho, did you have one? I did. You ever, you ever put your crush in your top eight? Uh, if or I was dating somebody, they were always number one. Yeah. Adorbs. Totes adorbs. Top eight was like a political. Yeah, it's like if you got moved out of somebody's top eight, you fucked up. Yeah, it was, it was my, like, it was my like top eight, eight was <laughs> it was like eight D chess. My top eight was uh, Pete Buttigieg, um, mm-hmm. Andrew Yang. Yep. Who else? <laughs> Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Beto O'Rourke. Kamala Harris. Yeah, only the cool ones. Elizabeth Kam- Warren. Kamala Harris. She she smoked pot once. And she listened cool. to Snoop Doggy Dog and Tupac, oh, too. But not when she was in college, because those came out in the 90s. Lars before in the she chat says, college. boomers confirmed. I'm, I'm, and I've had enough boomer shit. Yeah, I'm talking is, about Facebook. This is borderline is that, racist, you guys. Is that what we are? Like, late 20s, early 30s, we're boomer? boomer. We are people, some, they like to stretch the truth. You know, we, we weren't. You know, people want to stretch it through so far. <laughs> I'm part of the I'm part of the greatest generation, baby. World War uh, World War Two. World uh, War Iraq. <laughs> hell yeah! So Facebook. Uh, let's see. Punish me here. Since you are throwing my information out there, I get to find out who in China has a crush on me. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. Yep. Looks <laughs> like in nobody. China. Remember, <laughs> I'm still waiting. Remember when um, Mark Zuckerberg's like personal Facebook pictures all leaked, and it was a, like a big fiasco. He was like super <laughs> embarrassed by it, and it's like, yeah, well, how the fuck do you think all of us feel, <laughs> Dick? Yeah, seriously. I think I think an appropriate punishment would be uh, Marky Zuck's uh, penis gets leaked. 
Yeah. And uh, there's a glitch on Facebook and it becomes everybody's temporary profile picture. Well, careful now, because Mark Zuckerberg has already said he wants to run for president. So if uh, if everything on this episode is, to be, is believed to be true, as <laughs> all, all episodes of Thought Cops are, yeah. um, we'll get to see Mark Zuckerberg's hog. And uh, if it's big enough, well, he's got my vote. I don't know. I think he shot himself in the foot, though, because uh, at one of his rallies when he said he was going to run for president, uh, he said the line. I don't know if you guys remember this, but he said, uh, yeah, in the year 2020, there will be no more. This kind of sounds a little Obama, y but just yeah. just roll with it uh, in, the, in the year 2020. There will be no more elderly people because we're just going to kill him. No, we're just going to kill him. He said that. <laughs> Barack, pretty, Sam Hyde, Obama. <laughs> pretty fucked up that he said that. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. I don't listen to Mark Zuckerberg or talk all that much, so I don't really know. He sounds like, and he looks like Data from Star Trek. Makes sense. Data is also what flows through his veins. Um, speaking of Facebook, I guess we ought to mention this real quick. Uh, the purge has occurred, people. Really, the gates have come off. And other things, I've never seen the Purge movie, so I don't really know. Gates are involved, I assume. Gates, yeah, Gates I to the hell. They what, go, they what go what to hell, and the, the, uh, Frankenstein, he's there. Yeah. So the, the first one is this family. Ethan Hawke is the main character. He's the dad of this family, and he owns the security company that builds gates and See? like security See? for... for rich people during the purge because apparently the only thing people want to do when there's like no laws and you can literally get away with anything you want the only thing people want to do is murder each other so he sells security to these people who want to stay safe and and then hilarity ensues when when people are trying to break into his house and get them all got Sounds hilarious. Well, the same thing is happening to right-wingers on Facebook. Alex Jones, Ooh. Milo Yiannopoulos, Laura Loomer, Louis Farrakhan is in there. All these people are getting, uh, they're getting kicked off. They're getting destroyed. Their, their gates are flying off. People found out the codes. They looked up their Facebook passwords. They're just on a blank Word document somewhere at Facebook HQ. <laughs> they looked them up. They deleted all of their accounts. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, I don't mind Alex Jones getting his identity thrown out there, just like he threw out the identities and addresses well, he, of all the uh, <laughs> of all the uh, Sandy Hook people. I'm sure so, you know he would love well, to see how that what would happen if people did that to him. Come on, come on down to my house. I'll come fight to you. My house. You can watch me lift weights and eat my supplements. Come on over, guys. I didn't know he was still on Facebook. I thought he got kicked off everything. I thought so, too, but I guess Facebook was the last bastion of uh, free speech in the country. Jeez. So, Ain't that I, the truth? I know the same thing happened, same thing happened with, with uh, Milo, too. I think Milo was banned from Twitter a long time ago. That was probably one of the first episodes we talked about it. Um, and uh, he still had a Facebook account. Um, God, that feels like so long ago. Yeah. Like, time is just going by so slow because of all this garbage. 2016 Sorry, when he talked about defending diddlers yeah i think it was yeah like we were uh, time. probably probably about then so yeah laura loomer thinks that this is uh you know uh part two of white genocide probably <laughs> it starts with milo and alex jones yeah i don't know i feel like we've talked about yeah. these types of things so much that it's like uh, same response goes it's like yeah just giving the same punishment as always i guess yeah just uh i don't know listen your punishment is listen to old episodes of thought cops where we very intelligently break down uh you know corporate power and whether yep. or not corporate po corporate corporations or governments mm -hmm. have the right to infringe on people's speech and what <clears> that <throat> includes for you know the general Shit. populace at large <clears throat> yeah i've said it what i think to be very intelligently in the past but i don't really remember i, I don't either i don't remember what i said in the last episode who was on the last episode bon traeger oh yeah we, we spent little bit of time talking about it <laughs> another thing i like about that guy uh, i brought a i brought a bottle of whiskey over to the table and uh he sees that i'm bringing it over with a glass and he goes oh well if we're doing drugs and then just starts rummaging through his pocket <laughs> oh my <laughs> hilarious yeah um well, how are you nine time we're like over okay let's, a, 
three. This, oh, yeah, this is basically the Joe Rogan podcast. No, fuck that. Fuck that. Uh, let's fucking go on to Key to the City. So let's move on to Key to the City. Let's wrap it up here. Uh, my Key to the City this week goes to the Twitter account CIA GoFundMe. At CIA GoFundMe. It's Andy S on Twitter. I only say it because I feel like he's like the funniest account I probably follow. I often find we've I, we've retweeted him a bunch on the Thought Cops account. I feel like a lot of the stuff he says is always relevant to what we talk about, uh, and just I feel like he comes at it from a really funny angle. So check him out, give him a follow, and uh, maybe tell him to come on the show. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, CIA GoFundMe. Go on Thought Cops. Grant, what's your key to the city? Yeah, my key to the city this week is uh, goes to Microsoft Security Essentials. Okay, I finally have a form of antivirus software on my oh, computer. That's good. After two years of doing this show and getting many a porn virus, I finally mm. have some protection. They should sponsor us for that. Maybe. It is free software. John McAfee, go on uh, Thought Cops. Please do not go on Thought Cops. I don't want your shit-smelling breath in my face. Sancho, key to the city. Any Anything positive this week? Anything? Well, I, uh, I've got something to plug, actually. It's a, yeah, um, go for it. Yeah, yeah. It's a charity walk. It's called NAMI Walks, N-A-M-I Walks. Oh, yeah. It's okay. the uh, National Alliance on Mental Illness. They uh, they do this walk thing. It's, I think, nationally. So there's one in that I'm going to in Milwaukee. I think there's one in Chicago, too. Cool. Um, so they, they raise money to kind of fight the stigma of mental illness. And uh, it's a 5K walk. It's free to sign up. Uh, I have a fundraiser. Um, I'll just go ahead and throw my name out there just because it's, it's important. Uh, if you just go to namiwalks.org and you search Brian Singer, that's where my fundraising page is. I'm just trying to raise a hundred bucks. No big deal. But, um, cool. If you want to get involved? It's super easy. And, uh, yeah. That's a, and, uh, that's a if you're, li- well, if you're listening to this episode, which obviously you are, uh, go to the description. We'll include a link in the description below. You can donate to him for a good cause. Nami great cause great people and uh sancho did you or brian uh whatever did you want to uh, did you want to plug your social media or anything like that uh yeah i mean you could uh find me on twitch i do uh i do let's plays and i'll do let's plays fundraisers for for nami it's uh, banana fish 91b uh and you can also find me on twitter at brian allen singer uh brian yeah. guy 55 uh, I got. I got to interrupt you here. The chat is uh, doxing you. They said that you uh, wrote and, or they said that you directed the movie X Men, and yeah. you're uh, you're in a little you're in a little hot water. <laughs> That's what always happens when I yeah. throw my name out there. <laughs> so, it used so to let, be cool, but now it's not. <laughs> yeah, let's just say uh, different, better Brian Singer on the show, yeah, here, folks. Way better. Brian Singer 2.0. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the. Bohemian Brian Rhapsody Singer. fucking sucked anyway. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't good. I mean, uh, I bet you yeah. could do better. You could do better. I, I could. I could. And if I, somebody could, asked me, you could have me be, a, uh, be an Queen. Asian guy in your movie again. Mm-hmm. I yeah, and and you know what? If you guys ever want me to come over, I'll bring it. I'll bring the. I got my the copy of the movie, and we can watch oh, Kevin's God. scenes together. That that may be worth it. Yeah, let us I know. I thought you meant you were going to bring an Asian guy over. No, I, yeah, I'll bring one too. I'll bring one. Oh, of those. God, awesome. brother. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this week's thought cops word of the week. Uh, this is thank you to the account Turing Police on Twitter. This week's Thought Cops Word of the Week is Barn Cell. You probably figured that one out. It's a uh, someone who is uh, in a barn so often that they don't get to have sex. They're so busy uh, tending to the barn. Is that who uses FarmersOnly.com? I would have to assume, yeah. Makes sense. You know, we talk about toxic culture online, toxic masculinity with Farmers Only. They're just like... Uh, just obsessed with wood and crops and uh, most of all haystacks, you know? Yeah, they're always rolling in them. Hey, let's move on to those voicemails. We got one during the show. Yeah, I saw it. Zwick says, you can, uh, pretty sure you can have sex in a barn. It's just not legal. Why would it not be legal? Think about the clientele. You know, not animals. Animals, your cousins. Co- uh, animals who are your cousins. Cousins who are your animals? Exactly. Keep my cousin in a cage. He's a pig man, Jerry. A pig man. I am pig man. Oink oink. <laughs> um, let's start with uh, two minutes of hate and fish during Lent. 
<laughs> Sorry. Hey, Thought Cops, IO Netrunner here with a two minutes of hate, and it's fish during Lent. Yeah. I live in Pittsburgh, PA, which is pretty, uh, whatever fucking religion doesn't eat any meat on Fridays, and therefore fish is just fucking everywhere. Cat And I like fish, but I don't like the shitty fish that they truck in during Lent, because they have to feed a thousand fucking people every Friday with this cheap-ass fish. Uh, it just really pisses me off. What do you guys like to eat with your fish? Tartar sauce is uh, a little stereotypical. I, I personally I like blue cheese sauce. Ooh. Ooh, blue cheese sauce. That sounds good to me. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. I'm glad you picked up on that because I, I wasn't about to say anything. Um, yeah, yeah was, I think it would have been funnier. The reason it's anything. so cheap is because uh, it was just one fish and one loaf of bread and Jesus just uh, multiplied them. Just waved his magical wand and it just uh poor yeah. quality control, yeah. Disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> uh Sancho man, uh what what do uh what do what do you like with your fish? He wants to know, he needs to know. What do I like with my fish? Yeah. Um Actually eat a lot of salmon, because it's just pretty good. Uh I usually just like throw it in the oven, put some lemon pepper on it. Ooh. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll make a little cilantro sauce, kind of throw it on there, there too. Um, some lime juice. I think lime juice is like low key, the best thing you can throw on anything. Well, I've been eating a lot of uh, shrimp lately because there's been record amounts of cocaine found in shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping that you'll find some on there. Yeah. It's, that's true. It's a ba- like, you don't it's have a news feel, report. You don't have to feel bad about doing coke if you just eat shrimp. Yeah, I had a shrimp that's why addiction. Forrest Gump man. loved it. Yeah. Forrest Gump was all about shrimp. They got shrimp rely, shrimp on a stick. They got shrimp you shove up your nose. Got they got cocaine. shrimp crack rocks. <laughs> you got shrimp crack rock. Got shrimp heroin. That's what they were doing in Vietnam. Methamphetamine, heroin, and heroin and shrimp. Heroin and shrimp. Shrimp. Classic comp. Classic combination. Classic. Next one, please. Hey, Thought Cops, I got a two minutes of rage for you. It's mm. when game trailers on Steam don't show any fucking gameplay. They're just a stupid fucking video that's like a cutscene or the opening like video Sonic. that like sets the mood for what the game's about. What the fuck is the game actually about? Is it an RTS? Is it a first-person shooter? I don't fucking know because you didn't show me any fucking gameplay. <laughs> now I gotta figure it out from pictures, you fucking cunts. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is IO Netrunner, by the way, but I'm just so fucking pissed I forgot. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, next voicemail. <laughs> Aw, I, I totally agree. And we all agree. Just you know, moment of silence. Moment of silence for all of those lost in uh, comment sections everywhere, trying to figure out what's the game about. Okay, three, two. This is the small okay. chunks of time one. Ready. Three, two, one, play. Hey, Thought Cops. IO Netrunner here. Hey, and man. Welcome back. I could back. go on for two <laughs> hours about people that just fucking waste my time. Please but do. for two minutes, I can go on about those little chunks of time where you know you have a set limit where you got to start doing something, like you got to leave for an appointment or something, but you have like 20 minutes of free time, and it's like... What are you supposed to do with those 20 minutes? You can't really get into anything because you know you're just going to have to stop pretty soon anyway. And so you just end up wasting time with like a stupid fucking phone game or you browse Reddit, even though it fucking sucks. But what else are you going to do where you need those little micro bits where it doesn't matter because you can't, you know, dive into an actual video game or pick up a book because by the time you finish half a page, you got to go do something. I don't read that half slow. <laughs> <laughs> I Guys, please delete this. Delete all of this, even though it's an MP3, and I'm sending it to you in email. Thanks, Zwick. Wes. Is Wick we're keeping it? Yeah, we're gonna keep it. That's funny. I, it's because uh, I often have small chunks of time when I get home, and I have like I, I work out with the trainer, and it's like I have about thirty minutes to for whatever, and mm-hmm. it's a five minute walk to the gym. So I totally agree with that. It's like, what do you do? You can't. You can start reading something. You reflect. Yeah, I like, the, I like the way he says the fuck word. Yeah, he really lays it on. 
fucking yes. <laughs> two yeah. two minutes of hate you gotta be you gotta be hateful you gotta That's use right. hateful language can we talk about the gameplay trailer thing again real quick yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go so off. there every every e3 they they like release these epic game trailers and it always pisses me off because like he says they all you see are just like cinematics so you have no idea what the game is yeah. And, what games um, are these? I, I I don't have this problem. This is like a lot of games. It's it's always E3. They always I, like release that, these that's epic trending, I guess. Uh, the Kojima game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah. Exactly. That's that's have what we I'm seen gameplay for that yet? I don't even know. Nobody has. Jesus Christ. Anyway, it's like why, why yeah. are they even like at this point? People know why they're making them because they know that certain people are just gonna eat up footage like that but mm-hmm. the, really what is the utility of you making a trailer like that and it's like just put put the game out like you, people want to just play the fucking thing especially they'll, they'll as put, sorry go ahead no just especially as uh you know these companies get bigger and they sell more and they make more money it's it's one of those things where it's like I, th- I think everybody's pretty well aware of the fact that a lot of games look really good and then the gameplay is terrible and the sales are terrible. So it's like, why why even put any money into it in the first place, you know? Yep. I was going to so say... Uh, don't want anything to happen. No, I mean, like, look at look at what happened with... Um, I mean, was there any trailer footage of, like, uh, Mario Odyssey that came out? Yes. There was? Yes, yes. Well, fuck them. And it looked awesome. Yeah, but what was it? Was there gameplay footage with that? Yes. And there it you looked go. So fun. There you go. That's that's the that's the difference. That's the, the uh, delineation is that a lot yep. of these trailers that he's talking about do not have like gameplay footage. He's saying it's specific to Steam. So yeah, I don't have Steam. I just got a good computer for the first time. So anyway, next voicemail. Hey, thought cops. Hi. My two minutes of hate are for people that can't enjoy themselves unless their taste in music is met 100%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so recently, oh, no. I wrote my last exam. And the good guy I am, I organized a whole case of beer, some bottles of liquor, everything. What a good guy. Speaker, so we can listen, could listen to music. And I organized everything. I even made a Spotify playlist with some, you know, rowdy music. So we can have I some love fun. rowdy music. The school Ooh, cafeteria, rowdy. getting drunk and everything. So we write our exam. We're all happy that it's all over. And I put on the music. We start drinking. It's like two songs in, you know, some Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Rights, whatever. Classic. Some NWA. You know, it's 90s campus, music. Makes you riled up. Whatever. And then the complaints start. Oh, this music is so bad. Can you turn on something else? <laughs> okay, what, what do you want? Oh, I want this uh, 180 BPM hardcore techno. Or I want <laughs> <Yeah>. BPM <laughs> fucking trash. Specific. Girl music. Fuck, man. Never do something nice for your classmates because they're all dickheads with no taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well said. Well said. Well, I totally relate. I get anxiety about that because, like, I, I have some kind of shitty taste in music. Yeah. And I am not the person to put on music at a party. I checked his Spotify account. It's just Rick Astley on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> and other bad you- stuff. When I meet somebody and they don't have the same taste in music or we can't find something that we both like, it's really hard for me to get along with them. You, and you shut them down. You shut them down. You know what I do um, when, when I have people over and stuff in a, a uh, party-like capacity where, you know, we're all eating shrimp, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, Hell is yeah. I'll, just, nice. I'll, I'll open Spotify. I'll create a new playlist and I'll just go put put your own shit on. Yeah. I don't care. I could give a shit. 
it makes no difference to me. It feels incredibly childish when people are, uh, it's just background music. You're not even supposed to be listening yeah. to it. You're supposed to be talking to people and enjoying other people's company. Shut the fuck up about your taste in music. Just go with what it doesn't matter. You want to listen to Beastie Boys? Fine. But uh, let me nitpick about every single aspect of my life. If if it's not fucking techno beats at 180 beats per minute, then I, I'm going to fucking li- fuck. Get out. Yeah, get out of the party. Get out, get out, get out of my life. (laughs) It's the same thing when you're like driving in a car and so put this on. Put it doesn't matter. You take the radio, the ox cord. I'll I'll figure out what what we're gonna listen to. If I'm driving, I'm putting my own music on. Yeah, because you're driving. Why the fuck would you listen to music when you're driving when you can be listening to Thought Cops? Exactly. Next Uh, voicemail. Yes, sir. Did you meet Mr. Nintendo there? Yes, I did. Mr. That? Nintendo. Can you tell us a little bit more about the trip. Oh, you want to know more about the trip? Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, well. Hashtag me too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's hacky, but I got to do it. <laughs> so there was, you know, I recorded the whole episode in Japan. You can listen to that one. It was a couple episodes ago. I recorded it walking around Shinjuku in Tokyo. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything that happened after that. Uh, I went to a cat cafe. That was cool. Um, did, you get a, did you get any pussy? Oh, you bet. Uh, oh. You know, they say they say pay pay. Uh, you know, tw- uh, you know, two thousand yen for uh, one hour. You get to play with all the pussy you want. Cool. Yeah, get a coffee. <laughs> pets, pet some pussy. Read some manga. Manga was everywhere. Manga was everywhere. It's like they said. I thought I thought it was not true, but manga a, was you everywhere. You had a picture. It looks like you were in a gas station and there was a bunch of manga. Oh yeah, dude. Like every like even like the bars I would go to, gas stations, hotels, hostels, cat cafes, every place had a library of manga. Wow. Yeah, it's like it, more than I even expected. People on the train coming up from work reading manga. It just it's cool. You know, you like this stuff, whatever, however long, and then you go and then you're like, oh, these people are actually they don't they're not embarrassed about this weird thing we like. They're actually very proud of it. Uh Japan is very proud of their cultural exports. Now is and, there uh, is there hentai with the manga? I did see in uh, Akihabara there was a five floor hentai store. Floor one was fetishes. That's all I saw from the outside. Wow. What what could what Just could the rest up. be? If that's your introduction, what could the rest be? Zwick and the chat cannot stop bringing up the uh, pa- used panty vending machine. I've heard the rumors. I've heard about those too. <laughs> I didn't personally see one. Man, I don't know why you would want to do that. Isn't as, doesn't Japan you know, have like not a even as a birth joke. rate right now because people can't get married? Because it's like, well, it's, people are uh, so obsessed with like sex robots and stuff. What I think it? it's more like gaming and stuff, but I mean, I don't know. It's both. Se- playing with a sex robot is much like a video game. Well, I mean, like winners, video games. Lo- yeah. I mean, you know, it's like the Oculus Rift isn't, you know, cheap enough for everybody to have. Same for sex robots, you know. Well, the enough. Oculus Rift, you can sure. buy the flashlight attachment. You think you're joking, but uh <laughs> anyway, no, we got we got uh, one last voicemail here. They have uh they have VR porn. They do. That exists. Oh they do. Hey guys, just thought I would call and leave a voicemail. Um Good idea. You guys are spending yep. a lot of time talking about Rick Astley. Um yeah. I actually Jesus. really do like this what the fuck? Uh, it's kind of an old name from like two thousand six, two thousand eight yeah. or so. Early. But it's a good song, yeah, nonetheless. Anyway, the game. Good game. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks game. for calling Love in it. with that thought. Yeah, thank you for the most timely voicemail we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I feel like we're being stalked. It's about time. It's about time we got some creepy stalker Who, fans. Whoever this is, I'm taking you off of my Facebook crush list. Yeah. You Sorry. won't be seeing you won't be hearing from me again. What? I don't know. I just didn't know what else to say. 
this week. Cut it there. <laughs> <laughs>